be divided, who gets the wedding presents, who got what, who takes this back, and so forth. And we're going to try to come to grips with that. I think it's all rather petty stuff, but apparently Tyson is still <laughs> delighted. To, I guess if you can't have bad contact, any kind of contact is contact. <laughs> Raul doesn't mean to say Robin is walking away from Mike with a toaster and tea set. Her engagement ring is part of a $400,000 collection of jewelry she'll probably keep. Her Hollywood home is valued at a million two, and the furnishings of the couple's two homes are probably worth another quarter of a mil. Then there's that $125 million libel suit Raul slapped Tyson with. It does seem, though, that Tyson is doing a pretty good job of burying himself if he just given enough time to talk. The talk that sparked the libel suit appeared in the November 7th issue of the New York Post. In it, Mike is quoted as saying, Given stole money from me when we were together. He is also on record describing his wife and mother-in-law as the slime of the slime. Tough talk that could cost the champ $125 million. Raul is quick to point out that the $125 million will not go to Robin Givens. She and Raul are donating anything they win from the libel suit to charity. And that's the eye of the storm, according to Raul. His client wants no money, wants to donate $125 million to charity, and wants to end her marriage in a quick and dignified manner. Meanwhile, the lawyer with all the toys waits out the storm with confidence and good cheer. The sun will soon shine again for his client, Robin Givens, and Raul Lionel Felder will be just a little bit richer. Bad news for Raul. This could be the big one that got away. The New York Daily News reports that Mike and Robin were seen dating in New York City recently. But even if they do split, when it comes to record-setting divorce settlements, Tyson and Givens are lightweights. Johnny Carson has had some bad luck in the wedding ring. He's a three-time loser with divorces to wives Jody, Joanne, and Joanna. Johnny's big knockout came when third wife Joanna was awarded 32 million smackers. With an estimated worth of $100 million, Mr. Las Vegas, Wayne Newton, was down for the count when he paid ex-wife Elaine 35 million bucks. Jack Kent Cook, owner of the Washington Redskins, lost a whopping 42 million to wife number one. Now Cook's on round two, and soon to be ex wife Suzanne could score even bigger in this one. But the current record holder makes these other divorce knockouts look like small change. He's.